Hey guys, welcome back. JT here for DelicateBeats.com. Today I want to show you a trick that I use to tap in the genius of mixing and mastering engineers worldwide. I'm using the Match EQ on my Master Out to improve my mixes, so let me show you how to do that. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in Logic Pro X, and this is the beat we're going to be working with today. So, as you can hear, typical, you know, West Coast Dr. Dre type beat. As you can see here on the left, I have a bunch of plugins that make up for my mastering chain. I'm going to mute them, but I'm going to keep the match EQ open. And as you can see, there's already a curve here that's applied to my mix. So what I'm going to do here is click and recall default. Now the match EQ needs a reference to change your mix to make it so that it sounds like the reference mix. So we're going to need a file and the Match EQ works with WAV files. I was lucky enough to find the Kush instrumental from Dr. Dre online. So we're going to use that as our reference. So the first thing we want to do is right click on template and you're going to choose the last option here, generate template spectrum from audio file. And on my desktop here, I have a bunch of different songs that I use for different types of music that I'm mixing. So I'm going to choose Kush by Dr. Dre. Now what it's generating is the overall, you know, EQ curve of the final product. It's a mix and mastered instrumental and we want to achieve the same kind of sound with our mix. So the, the second thing you want to do is press play on your DAW and click on learn. So leave, leave quite a bit of time for the, the plugin to learn all of the, the beats um, frequencies. And then what you want to do is the third step is click on match. Now you get pretty extreme results when you don't leave anything untouched here. Or should I say anything touched. So what you want to do first is probably play with the so smoothing knob here so that it, it gives you a more, you know, rounded and musical result. And last but not least, all you have to do is change the apply setting. So if I leave it like that, let's just listen for fun to the mix. So I like how it controls the mids and high mids. Uh, it makes the, the sound a bit smoother, but obviously there's way too much bass. So what I'm gonna do is tone it down a bit while listening to the mix. And that sounds about right to me. Now I can apply the rest of my mastering chain. And let's do a before and after while it plays. So you see how it tames the mids, high mids, and even the, the highs here. Makes the, the, the mix was still a bit harsh because of the big claps and all that and the very energetic you know strings and brass patches that I used so it's really nice to just come in here use this EQ curve to smooth out the, the, the frequencies that you hear but you're not necessarily sure where to dip and, and, and gain and boost basically so again And because there's going to be vocals on there, you want the instrumental to be somewhat dull, you know, because you want the, the vocals to sit on top of that very crispy, very nice. So very useful for an instrumental mix. And just for your curiosity, I'm also using the direction mixer after all of my EQing. And that's pretty much it. If you watched my other videos, you know that I, I'm not going to master this. Probably what I'm going to do here 
at the very last stage is drop the ceiling out to minus 5 dBs and make sure that I'm not attenuating anything. So, so I'm going to bounce my instrumental like this with no limiting basically and throw that thing into lander. So hope this is useful. I think it's very powerful. You can use it on the master out as well as, you know, just regular tracks. Say, for example, you like a, a guitar tone that you heard somewhere else. Well, there's no, no saying that you can't use the match EQ to EQ your own guitar tracks according to a professionally, you know, mixed and mastered track with a very nice guitar in it. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, watch the other videos. And if you have questions, use the comments below. Thank you. Have a good day.